What's up you guys, Steve here with your unemployment update slash taxes update slash stimulus package update. We've got a lot going on and I wanna make sure that I get this video out and that you see it. Make sure to share this video out because we've got a lot of updates as to everything unfolding and a lot of these benefits they're only gonna be available to people that know about them in certain states. So make sure that the word gets out on this. I'm gonna be covering for you guys the latest that has changed with the tax laws. Now, as you guys know, um, the tax filing deadline has been extended out. The IRS is delayed in issuing refunds. There's the tax-free $10,200 of unemployment benefits that you get in 2020. That has been delayed as well. And so I've got a lot of information that has just come out recently in the past couple days. I wanna get you caught up on so that way you're in the know and you can know how to take advantage of this stuff. And I got a lot of people saying, I haven't filed yet. What should I look for? Or I already filed. Should I file an amendment? Or I already filed an amendment and it's wrong. Now what do I do? So we're gonna be covering all the details as to what the IRS is letting us know in today's video. I'm gonna get you caught up on everything as of today, April 1st, 2021. And no, this is not an April Fool's video, you guys. I was trying to think of something funny and clever to do, but I got nothing. So I'm just gonna deliver for you guys the latest updates so that way you know what's going on with our nation. So you guys, we're gonna dive right in, but if you do me a quick favor, it'll just take a second. If you like and appreciate these video updates, keeping you up to date on unemployment, stimulus, taxes, Congress, the economy, anything having to do with money. Why don't you go ahead and take a second to smash the like button. I would appreciate it. It helps out the channel. Leave a comment and as I mentioned, share this video out to anybody that you think might need to see it. Now, in addition to that, if this is your first time here and you'd like to stay up to date on all these topics, why don't you come and join the Ram Fam, the viewing community, by smashing the subscribe button and turning on that notification bell so that way as soon as I upload videos, you can get notified right away. Be sure to follow me on Instagram as well at steveram3. Consider joining the Patreon group to get exclusive access to me and these articles before they hit YouTube. And always remember that here on YouTube, whenever I comment, you're gonna see a gray stripe on the name. If you don't see that, it's not me. Even if it looks like me, because right now YouTube's got a problem with scammers trying to impersonate YouTube creators and steal your information. I'm not here to steal your information, I'm here to get you information, so, Please use caution, and with that being said, let's get you the latest information as of today regarding everything going on with taxes, unemployment, and stimulus. All right, so first let's discuss the delay that's unfolding right now with refunds and when they're saying you're gonna be able to get that refund depending on when you file. They've got a chart for you that's gonna break everything down and then we're gonna be discussing how you can track it. Then also the $10,200 of tax-free unemployment benefits that's gonna be auto-refunded but is delayed. Let's get started. Link in the description below to this first one that just came out today and it says, when will the IRS send my 2020 tax refund? Potential dates and two ways to track it. Now the article says that you've got some extra time to file your taxes. This year, tax date is now May 17th. Now they pushed it back because the IRS is overwhelmed with all of the stuff going on right now, issuing out stimulus checks, these tax changes to unemployment and everything going on. So they're delayed and they're pushing out the tax filing date. But if you've already filed, you're probably checking your bank account regularly in anticipation of that refund to arrive. Well, the IRS is sending the third stimulus checks at the same time, which is causing complications and delays, which could impact your refund arrival and even the arrival of your $1,400 stimulus check. And we already know a lot of people have already gotten that, but especially those on SSI, SSDI, they still haven't gotten it. Now, the word on that is that it should be coming next week. They're saying April the 7th. Now, you can get the status of your 2020 tax return online in two different ways, and we're gonna be covering that right now. It says the two easy ways to track your 2020 tax refund status online. You need several things on hand to track the status of your tax refund. You're going to need your social security or your ITIN number, your filing status, for example, single, married, head of household, and your exact refund amount in whole dollars. Now using the IRS's where's my refund tool, you're going to be entering that information, the exact amount, you're going to click send. Now if you entered the information correctly, you'll be taken to a page that shows the status of your refund. Now if not, 
You may need to ask to verify your personal tax data and information and you need to try again. Now there is also a mobile app, this is the second way, called the IRS To Go that you can use to check your tax refund status. The IRS updates the data in the tool overnight each day. So every day they're gonna be updating this. You'll hopefully be able to get more updated status uh, the next day if you don't see it that day. But keep checking regularly every 24 hours. Now when you check the status of your refund, whether it's on the app or online, you're gonna be seeing one of three statuses is what the IRS is saying. You're either gonna be seeing received, approved, or sent. And here's what those mean. So if you see received, that means that the IRS now has your tax return and is working on processing it. If you see approved, that means that the IRS has processed your tax return and confirmed the amount of your refund if you're owed one. And sent is your refund is now on its way to your bank via direct deposit or a paper check in the mailbox. So those are the three statuses. Now, the arrival of your refund is gonna depend on when you filed. And here's a chart that's gonna be breaking it down, giving you an idea of when you can expect to see that refund. So it says if you filed March 1st, the soonest you'd likely see that refund is gonna be March 8th, and the latest is gonna be March 22nd. So about one to three weeks. And you're gonna see that pattern throughout this chart, April 1st, April 8th to April 22nd, April 15th, the last day before to file, you're gonna see it April 22nd to May 6th, May 17th, the new deadline. If you file exactly on that day, you'll likely see it May 24th to June 7th, and October 15th, the last day of the extension, October 22nd to November 5th. So right now they're saying delayed, so expect one to three weeks so before you see that refund. All right, so now let's take a look at that tax-free $10,200 of unemployment benefits that you could have collected in the year 2020. Now, as you guys heard, the IRS is gonna be auto-refunding this to you. However, we're hearing that it's delayed. So I'm gonna get you the latest details as they're saying that there's gonna, this is gonna go out in two separate phases. Also, a chart of where some states, you gotta let them know that you want this because it's not auto-applied to you. And we're gonna dive into all the details in this article that just came out yesterday. Link in the description below, and it says the IRS funds will start in May for $10,200 of unemployment tax breaks. The article says that the IRS will start issuing tax refunds in May to Americans who filed their returns without claiming a new break on unemployment benefits, the federal agency said Wednesday, yesterday. The American Rescue Plan waived federal taxes of up to $10,200 of unemployment benefits per person in 2020. Households with $150,000 of more of income are not eligible for this tax cut. Now, President Joe Biden signed the $1.9 trillion relief plan that changed this tax law during tax season on March 11th. Taxpayers eligible for the tax break were left wondering if they should file an amended tax return to claim the benefit. The IRS advised taxpayers not to file an amended return, saying it was devising a workaround. The agency confirmed on Wednesday, yesterday, that it will issue refunds automatically to eligible taxpayers. So you don't have to file an amendment. They're saying that they're gonna be applying this to you uh, on their end automatically. Because the change occurred after some people filed their taxes, the IRS will take steps in the spring and summer to make the appropriate changes to the return, which may result in a refund, the agency said. The first refunds are expected to be made in May and will continue into the summer. Now, the IRS will conduct a recalculation in two phases for those who already filed their taxes. Now, the agency will start with taxpayers eligible for the tax break of up to $10,200 of unemployment benefits. So that's going to be the first step. They're going to start with individuals. And then it says the IRS will then adjust returns for married couples filing joint tax returns who are eligible for the tax break of up to $20,000. $400 or others that have more complex tax returns. So those are the two phases. So individuals first, married couples, and more complex second. Now, workers may still owe state tax. So you're getting forgiven on federal taxes for your unemployment benefits, but you still might owe state taxes. More than a dozen states weren't offering a tax break on benefits as of this week. And here's a map that's showing you where they are allowing you to be totally tax-free on the first $10,200 and other ones where they're not allowing this. And you can see here in the dark blue, you've got states like California, Nevada, Texas, Washington, where federal and state taxes are wiped out. Now in the yellow, benefits are taxed. So 
Colorado, Indiana, Minnesota, these states, you are still having to pay state taxes. Now, in the light blue, it says tax forms, let taxpayers claim the break. That's going to be Arizona and Ohio and Vermont. So in those states, you actually have to claim it on the form. Now, in light blue, taxes waived of up to $10,200 per person for the state. That's going to be light blue. And in orange, Wisconsin and Indiana, those ones, you get partial benefits. So you can see across the board, it varies depending on where you reside as to whether or not you're going to get your state taxes waived on those unemployment benefits as well. And once again, just to recap, if you have already filed your taxes or you already filed amendment, the IRS is saying that they're going to be automatically taking care of it for you. So don't file amendments. Don't do anything else. They're going to be applying this to you specifically for the unemployment benefit. It says for those taxpayers who already filed and figured their tax base on the full amount of unemployment insurance, the IRS will determine the correct taxable amount of unemployment compensation and tax. According to the agency, any result resulting overpayment of tax will be either refunded or applied to other outstanding taxes owed, the IRS said. And as we already mentioned, it's going to be going out in two waves. Now, for those of you still waiting for the new unemployment extension, and we've heard there's literally millions of people that still haven't gotten it, it says, will the emergency unemployment benefits be delayed? What we're currently hearing is that freelancers or long-term jobless people, they're bearing the brunt of delays. So if you've already had unemployment benefits for over a year, apparently states are having issues with updating their systems for the new extension. And also that specifically applies to if you're on PUA or PEUC is what we're hearing. And here's a tweet that came out that says around 2 million people could be experiencing temporary delays in getting federal unemployment benefits. The people hit hardest could be those on PUA and PEUC. Now, as more information comes out on that, I'll be sure to keep you up to date here on the channel. I know the vast majority of viewers have let me know they've already received their extensions. However, I still have viewers every single day letting me know I still haven't gotten the new unemployment extension that's supposed to take me out till September. So as more information rolls out on that, I'll keep you up to date. And if you haven't already heard, yesterday, President Joe Biden revealed new details regarding the new stimulus package that's going to be on the way. If you want to get more information on that, be sure to check it out in this video right here. And also, I cover the new push that we're getting from Democratic leaders to include a fourth stimulus check that's going to be a monthly reoccurring check. Every day, it seems like there's more people getting on board in Congress to get another stimulus check. Now, in addition to that, if you guys are looking for other ways to get some money while we're waiting for Congress to help provide more for of stimulus, be sure to check out this video right here where I let you know the latest on passive income that I'm collecting from a rental property that I recently picked up. I know a lot of people are interested in learning about that and how to start investing in real estate. And also, if you guys are interested in just side hustles, there's the number one top trending side hustle right now in 2021. And I've actually been doing it for years. I was ahead of the I was ahead of the trend. And if you want some tips and details on it, go ahead and check it out right here in this video where I let you know the latest side hustle that's trending right now and how you can get started to make some extra cash. But you guys, uh, if you've made it this far and you haven't already, why don't you go ahead and take a second to smash the like button. It helps out the channel. Be sure to hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. Follow me on Instagram at SteveRam3. And you guys, I'll keep you up to date as more information rolls out here on the channel. I hope this reaches you well. Take care. Have a blessed Thursday. God bless. This is Steve.